Hi everybody, it's Lynn. Well, I've been playing with our beads that came in our June bargain bead box, and I think I have something laid out. Um, we're going to do a necklace, and we're going to be using the uh, orange crackle agate, some of the four millimeter bicones, some of the spacers, the bead caps, and the English cut beads. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start stringing and see how this starts to come out. I don't know. I haven't put it on any stringing wire. I don't know how this is going to look. So I'm just going to start stringing and we'll go from there. Okay. I love the box, but I have to tell you, I'm having a little bit of a problem putting things together for some reason. I I guess I'm just not used to that many colors mixed. So it's throwing me a little bit. Um, however, I do like this orange and yellow together. I'm going to put two of these coin beads on here too, I think. Just to give it a little something else. And we're also using our sun pendant. And then we're going to take the little small suns and make a pair of earrings using these same beads. So, have you guys done anything yet with your box? Are you still thinking about it? I, you know, I love those barrel beads. But I don't know how I'm going to use them. I may have to pull other beads out of my stash and do that. I, I'm just not seeing them all together for some reason. I'd love to see what you guys do. Probably won't have the block I've had. <laughs> I sat here with these things last night for like three hours and I just, I don't know, I can't seem to get it together. All right, let's see. Can't wait to see how this looks when I hang it up. I want to get this strung before I go off camera and string the rest so you can kind of see. I want to show you kind of the pattern I've laid out. Um, I may have to finish this with chain. I don't think there's enough beads here to do an entire beaded necklace of these beads anyway. All the same, you know. These little English cut beads are so pretty. Okay. Well, that's what I had put together so far. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think I like it. All right. Now I want to put on a coin bead. I want to see how that looks with these. Oh, yeah. You know what? That actually, the pattern on these beads could be interpreted as a sun. That's pretty cool. All right. I have some beads separated out. I have this many more in a separate pile because... I want to make sure I can match my sides. So I'm going to keep stringing here. Let's do one of these little bicones on here. Okay, do a, another one of these guys. And then another bicone. Some of my uh, bead caps, I had to punch holes in them. If uh, you get one that the hole is not all the way open, just take your beading awl and uh, work with it gently, and you'll be able to get it open. 
Okay, now I'm going to run out of bead caps, so I can't use any more of those. I have to save what I have left for the other side, so we'll just do just plain old beads. And I could come back and take those off if it looks like, um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this side looks when I get these strung on. Okay, actually, let's put him on there first, then spacer bead, agate bead, spacer bead, oh, I missed a spacer, right there. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. All right, I kind of like it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off screen and string the rest of these, and then I'll come back and we'll finish it and make some earrings okay all right i'll be back in a minute hey guys i'm back i got it all strung and i thought i was gonna have to finish it with chain but i just pulled out some more of the little yellow english cut beads and added enough length so that um, this will be completely beaded there won't be any chain on this necklace at all so all we need to do now is finish it up and put a clasp on it. And I decided I'm going to use clamshell covers for my closing on the necklace. So I put on a clamshell, put on a crimp bead. I'm just going to flat crimp just like that. Pull my clamshell up and close it. Okay, then we'll drop everything down to that end. Make sure we've got enough flexibility, but we don't have any wire showing. Put our other clamshell on. Cut some of this wire off. Well, we'll wait just a second. Put our other crimp tube on, drop it all down, and remember you can open these clamshells a little bit if you need to, so you can get in there and crimp, and then just go in and flat crimp. Okay, let's make sure it's good and secure, and cut off our excess beading wire. Close our clamshell. Okay. There we go. And now I'll take a lobster claw and put it on. Let's get it on the right side. Okay, that would be this side. So we'll put a lobster claw on that side. Open our jump ring. I've got an oval jump ring here, guys. Put him through our clamshell, put our lobster on, and close. Okay. Hold on, Ziva. Cat wants out. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back, guys.
Sorry about that, but she will get loud if I don't let her out when she wants out. All right, let's get us a jump ring for our lobster claw to grab onto. I hope this will fit through that clamshell. Let me see. It's kind of big, so I'm not completely sure, but I'd like to have this big jump ring. I like big jump rings for my lobster claw to grab onto. Yay, it fits. Okay. What did I do? Did I get the jump ring out of whack? There we go. Okay. All right, y'all. Our necklace is done. So now I'll show you what I did for earrings. Okay. All right. This is what I did for our earrings. Okay, and all that is is just the little sun is attached to an eye pin and then the orange bead and it's wire wrapped and then the yellow bead and it's wire wrapped and then attached to the ear wire. So let's do that real quick. I already have my little sun on the eye pin. Put on my bead cap, the orange agate, and the other bead cap. And where are my round nose pliers? There they are. Okay. Grabbing him like that. I'm going to kink him over on the side. Move my pliers kind of to the corner. Come up and over. Turn the pliers around and take it to the back. And then I'm going to grab my other. What was that? I have no idea what happened there. We're going to take our other pliers and wrap. I want these really neat because the wraps are going to show. Okay. Cut off our excess wire. Tuck that little tail in. Okay. Let's grab another eye pin. Open it up. Put this guy on. Close it. Put our English cut bead on. And wrap him. Okay, grab it like so, kink it over the side, move it to the corner, come up and over, turn your pliers around, and take it to the back, and then wrap it. Okay, snip off our excess. Tuck our tail. Okay, take our ear wire and open it. Make sure you get it facing the right way with your little sun there. It's got a, you want that facing forward. Open your ear wire, double check that you're putting it in. Nope. There we go. See, you want that face in the front of your earring. Close it. Loop, close that loop. Okay. Look at that, y'all. We have a simple pair of earrings with our pretty pendant, and I think that's a really cute set. Uh, I wasn't sure at all about it to begin with but now that I have it together I actually really like it 
All right, you guys, I have a bracelet that we're going to be doing next. Um, it actually uses beads from last month's bargain bead box. So I hope you got something out of this video. I would love to see what y'all do with these beads. So, you know, feel free to send me a picture. I'd love to see. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'm going to try to get that other video up today, but if I don't get it up today, I'll get it up tomorrow. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.